Woo! What's up, folks, and welcome to Super Cereal Sunday. Got a couple of Kellogg cereals in our midst. Frosted mini wheats, blueberry, strawberry. Let's go. If you are a Frosted Mini Wheats fan, like this video. And comment down below your favorite type of Frosted Mini Wheats. Personally, mine is Pumpkin Spice. Whenever Pumpkin Spice Frosted Mini Wheats come out, there's going to be at least five to 10 boxes in my name stocking up for the year. Well, for the next month or two, <laughs> most definitely. These ones, I've never tried. I don't know how long they've technically been out, but I've seen them in the stores for quite some time now. For whatever reason, I've absolutely overlooked them. So to continue the overlooked cereal series, here we go. I've also seen these in the Aldi's brand. I think that's Millville. I've also seen both of these flavors in that brand. So if maybe if I like these, we'll have a brand war at some point. Comment down below if you want to see that. Ooh. The strawberry, that strawberry smell is strong. Blueberry. I mean, uh, the smell's there. Thank you, Bill, for the bowl. You rock. The one thing that I do with frosted mini wheats is let them soak, not for too long. There's ha there has to be a good crunch to sog ratio with this cereal in particular. First, we do strawberry. Smells good, even after the milk. Let's go. I don't know why, but these are like extra chewy. I'm gonna reserve all my thoughts until I've tried both of them. Okay, so now we've done strawberry, Time to do blueberry. I can taste that blueberry. I'm telling you, there's just something different about these. And I don't know if I like it. It says on the box that the flavors and the colors are from natural sources. So it's not artificial strawberry, it's not artificial blueberry. That's at least good. There's just something about the way it crunches and chews in your mouth. It is not like the brown sugar and maple. It is not like the pumpkin spice. It's just different and I don't know why. After you let it sit in the milk, here lies the problem. The frosting goes away from them tremendously quick. So the frosting's like pieced out. It's They're gone. But then the crunch is a little bit better, but then there's no flavor. So I don't understand the window that you're supposed to be eating these in, but this is just overall not the most pleasurable cereal eating experience of my life. And this is coming from somebody that loves blueberry things, loves strawberry things. This experience is just not one for the ages. This is one that is forgettable and one that I will continually overlook. I'm going to give both of these cereals a five out of 10. How could they improve? More flavor, better texture, period. But I hope you love this video. Do you agree with me? I don't know. Comment down below. Tell me your thoughts on these two versions of Frosted Mini Wheats. Hope you have an amazing day. Hope your NFL team wins, unless they're the Seattle Seahawks. Go Niners. <laughs> Join the Keeferka Club down below if you're here on YouTube. Just freaking do it. And then like and subscribe. And until the next one, peace.